Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to set up uh, emails for NetGuard, NetGuard monitoring software of a PowerShield UPS um, when an event is triggered. So, NetGuard is running in the background here in my taskbar. So, let's go and open him up down here. Here he is. So, that's NetGuard. It happens to be um, uh, a line interactive UPS. So if we want to go and set up emails, all we do is we go down here, configure, configuration of NetGuard, you go email, okay? And then basically your sender address details are on the left side and the recipient email uh, details on the right. Essentially, you just need to set up your SMTP server details here and you're always going out on port 25. Um, and so in this case, this is just a factory default test, but normally it will be SMTP dot and then whatever your server setting is address. And then you have your full email address is listed here for as the send from email address, your username, which is generally just the preamble prior to the app. Um, authentication is required and your email password. If you've set this up correctly and you press test, it will actually send an email to the recipient. In this case, receive a test.com. Okay. So once you've set that up, then the next thing you have to set up is what event actions to take when an event occurs within the UPS. In other words, what event will trigger an email. So what you do is you go to event actions. And in event actions for a PowerShell 1200 Defender or Defender 1200 UPS, you basically just got these lists of things here that can trigger an event. I generally like to select AC failure. So if I go AC failure, now if I, if I was to click this guy and press apply, and then enter my password, administrator or lowercase, right? and then press apply again, then um, essentially um, whenever an AC failure occurs, uh, it will send and trigger an email to be sent to the recipient email. Okay. Now at the moment, um, AC recovery is not listed, but AC failure is. So if I wanted AC recovery also, to be sent as a separate email, then you would go like this and you press apply. Okay. If you had an over temperature alarm, you could do the same thing again and you press apply. Right? If you want to do, uh, say, I don't know, um, uh, battery self test failure, all right, you go click, all right, apply. There you go. All right. And now, if you don't press apply, then it won't store that and um, you won't get your email being sent. But essentially, that's all you require for your email, for your events to trigger an email to be sent to a recipient so that you can monitor what's happening. And I'm assuming the recipient is your own email address. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this video.